Hey Collective, welcome to Queen Airbend of Tarot. Today we are going to do your urgent message. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. With these urgent messages, these are just messages for the collective. So if it resonates with you, good. If it does not, then maybe the next reading might be for you. I'm going to tell you guys the message that I got. Okay, first things first, you guys know I always hear, I always channel messages with music. The song that I heard was Suave Mente. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to the song following the reading if you so choose to. Now, translated into English, Suave Mente means softly, gently, smoothly, right? Somebody thinks that they are a smooth criminal, but I'm telling you right now what I heard, somebody's about to get swept smooth on the ass, okay? Karmic justice is about to come in and have its way with somebody, okay? I've seen the major account. Um, major kind of justice card, okay? So some of you guys can be dealing with a Libra, some who rise in Venus individual, or this could be involving a situation that happened last Libra season. I don't feel like it's coming up. It's something that happened last Libra season that some type of karmic justice is about to sweep in, and I mean literally, big broom, sweep somebody on the ass, okay? This person thinks they're smooth, they think they're suave, they think they're getting away with murder, mm-mm. And for a lot of you all who have been like, how is this person constantly getting away with doing the things that they've been doing and nothing ever happens to them? Karma is here. <laughs> Karma is knocking on their door. It is here. I'm picking it up very strongly. So don't worry about it. Because this is, and, and I always tell you guys, Major Arcana is definite energy. That's spirit messages. We have free will with everything that we do. But with this specific situation, their luck has run out. Or whatever it is they thought they were doing, it's running out. And not only has their luck run out, but you're going to get a front row seat to what's going to happen with them. Because I'm telling you, I've been for the past couple of days, I'm like, okay, you know, you guys know I, I like to post once a week because I do my personal readings and things like that. But lately I've been getting that I need to post a little bit more because I'm just getting more downloads, more messages. And that was one of the main messages that somebody is literally about to get karmic justice and you are going to see it. And oh boy, are you going to marvel <laughs> and what's going to happen to them. Also, for those of you who are single there could be a bit of a um, suave person coming into your life. Male or female, my readings are always gender neutral. This person is going to come in and sweep you off your feet. But be be careful about this person because it's something... It's like this person is a master manipulator is what I'm getting. Because you also had the major arcana, the um, magician. And the magician is someone, he's a weaver. Okay, he or she, this person is a weaver. They know how to use their skills to manifest whatever it is they want. And it kind of gives me a vibe that... They're not using it to the best of their ability. They're just, they know that they can get what they want. And they're, they're a really good wordsmith. Like they're very good at finessing because I'm hearing finesse. And this person could be a bit of a finesse. So be mindful about that also. And also keep in mind the magician resonates with the energy of Gemini and Virgo. So that may apply to your situation also. Okay. So let's see what we get for you guys today, collective. As always, all the cards are completely upright. There are absolutely no reversals. So if I get any reversals, I will read as such. You guys know I always change the card at the top and the bottom. Just give you confirmation that the reading is completely unscripted. I only get the messages that I meant to give for you guys today. So now at the bottom of the deck, you have another major icon. Wow. Sagittarius. So some of you all, you could be a Sagittarius or this could be involving a Sagittarius sun sign specifically. Because every time I get the... um. You know, the major arcanas, if we're talking about signs, there's always the sun sign for me and possibly the rising because I'm also getting rising. I'm, I'm hearing right now that rising could be Sagittarius. So I'm looking at the wings. The wings helps you rise up to the sky, you know, things like that. <laughs> mm. Temperance card. Didn't I tell you, karmic justice is coming in for somebody very swiftly. Um, The temperance card is about waiting patiently. Something is manifesting. Something is culminating. Whatever this person thought they was doing, Oh, I'm telling you, they have weaved themselves a good old web to get stuck in. And I feel like just a, just be a little bit more patient because it is about to happen. It's about to come to the forefront. Again, this is Major Arcana. So this is a definite energy. You may not see it right now, but it's already manifesting. And I don't feel like you're going to have to wait to Sagittarius season. I don't get that. I feel like there's a, they could be a Sagittarius sun sign or rising sign involved in the situation but long story short something is about to manifest for sure i see another card sticking out right here you see there's other cards but look something wants to stick out it wants to show itself okay yeah. this is major for a lot of you all because you're starting off with a major arcana and there's other cards right here but look what wanted to show itself another major arcana the fool card taking a leap of faith into something new and then also someone felt like you were a fool and you i'm also hearing don't be a fool okay 
The full card resonates with Aquarius, also Aries. And then his hand right here is at the Cancer symbol. So again, I'm going to say with the major arcanas for me, that could be the Sun sign. So it could be involving a Cancer, Aries, Aquarius, Sun sign for me. Mm, okay. So the urgent message, what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to get two cards, current energy and then looking forward. Okay. And then we'll get clarifiers for both. So what we're going to do is part the deck. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, yeah. Somebody feels like they're getting over, but look at this. What they don't know is that you're about to bounce back. If somebody, because I'm, I'm really getting that somebody put you in a position where you may have lost something. And I heard in a pre, when I was doing a pre-shuffle, I heard that somebody may have lost some property. Also with the justice card, if you were going to court over a situation, you may have felt a little defeated, but you're getting ready to boss up. And even though this is a queen, this could apply to men also. Okay. So you have more fire sign energy. You have Leo specifically here, but it can also relate to Sag, okay? And Aquarius, oh, and I said Aquarius, but that's not a fire sign. So some of you guys are dealing with Aquarius. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a star card. Um, Aries, and I'm going to say Aquarius, okay? Because we I said it for a reason. Aries, Aquarius, Leo, and Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? And you see how she's looking right in a direction? Like I said, for some of you all, if this person really tried to do a number on you, you see how she's looking in the direction of the temperance card? Wait patiently because it's on the way. The fact that she's already a queen lets us know there's something. You're about to get some type of victory in this situation. Male or female, you're about to get some type of victory in this situation, okay? So the first card is the present energy. And the second card is what's going to happen moving forward in this situation. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm going to say somebody right now, you could be in the energy of feeling like you're impatient because something is not coming together. Then you have the nine of pentacles, single woman, single man card. Victory is about to be yours. Again, I'm going to say, if so, and I said this just a few minutes ago, literally something could have happened with your finances because of this person's situation. If you moved out of a home with someone, you could have took the grunt of the debt. Also, if you moved out of home with someone, you may not have been completely financially stable at the moment, but you had to move on. Or you could have lost an income because it was a two-household income. Also, someone could have stole from you. I feel like if they did steal from you, they stole behind your back. But you're getting ready to slowly but surely get it back. You see how you have six pentacles behind. And then in front, she has three. So over the next three months, you could be getting some type of finances coming back. Or three months ago, you know, something could have happened with finances. Three to six. Six months ago, someone could have stole from you. And you could slowly but surely be getting it back six months or three months ago. Okay, I'm getting... But I feel like slowly but surely, you're getting these finances back. Now, keep in mind, we are currently in an earthy season. This is um, Pentacles. We are currently in Taurus season. And I feel like slowly but surely, by the end of this month, you're going to start getting your money back somehow. But you may be a little impatient about it is what I'm getting. So let's see what we get for you guys. Collective, I'm hearing three more shuffles. That's what I'm hearing, three. Yep, something had to do with a home life for sure. Some of you all either put someone out, moved out, or there could be some struggles because of some type of breakup. Also, I'm going to say again, somebody possibly could have stole from you. Wow. Okay. So you see how right here in the 10 of pentacles, one, two, three, and then right in front of her, one, two, three. So I'm going to say this again within the next three months. And for some of y'all three weeks, because keep in mind at first she was up, right? Within the next three months to three weeks, some of you all could be getting your financial bearings back. If you were having difficulties with your finances, I feel like some of you, wow, strong three energy. Okay, right up under this queen of cups, cancer, and also Gemini, you got one, two, three. And again, you have that three right there. So over the next three months, and for some of you all, because the queen of pentacles, I'm sorry, the queen of cups was in reverse, this could have happened three months ago. But you're getting ready to get some type of stability, yeah, because now at the bottom of the deck, you have the queen of cups upright. Now, the queen of cups, any king or queen in reverse is negative because that means that this person is not in their power. Kings and queens are rulers. You don't tell a king and queen what to do. They tell you what to do. They give orders. They give. They rule, okay? So to have her in reverse just a few minutes ago, that lets us know that somebody was not in their power, especially not emotionally because cups talks about the emotions and the feelings. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy right here. Now you have the queen of cups of right. Again, male or female, it applies to both. Somebody is now finally in their power, and a little bit more emotionally stable. I feel like you're still thinking about this situation and what happened. Because right now you don't see what's going on behind the scenes. You see how she's standing here alone. She's in this water. So she's still kind of her feelings. She or he or she. But long story short, you're about to get some type of victory. Because again, you go from being in reverse to upright. Okay. So let's get your general energy for currently for the situation. For the collective. The general energy regarding the situation for the collective. I'm hearing the song again. 
And this is also, the song is also a party song. So I feel like somebody is getting ready to celebrate some type of victory. I just keep getting that. Somebody's going to celebrate a victory. And um, it's long overdue. That's what I'm getting. Long overdue victory for sure. Oh, look at that. Long overdue victory. And you got it. Wow. And this is Taurus energy. Didn't I tell you, you guys have had major arcana since I started your reading. You have the hair fine Taurus, strong Taurus energy. Some type of enlightenment and victory. Okay. You are going to get some type of victory. Some type of judgment is going to go in your favor. This could be involving a divorce. This could be involving a separation from someone that you have a long-term commitment or relationship with. Or it could also be involving a male or female Taurus individual. Specifically a male Taurus. Okay. But also, like I said, we are currently in Taurus season. You could be getting some type of victory in Taurus season that you're not really prepared for or you don't see coming. Because even though he's standing right here, this glow is behind him. So he doesn't see it. But he can feel it. I feel like a lot of you guys can kind of sense also that some, yes, yeah, look, it's still at the bottom deck. Yeah. Some type of victory is coming to you all. And again, I'm going to say it's definite because you have major arcana here. So this is a definite victory. For a lot of you guys, this is going down during tour season. Wow. I like that. And again, that's current. So going towards the future in regards to the situation. Ooh, that flipped out quick. Wow. Judgment card. So you have the judgment card and it came up in reverse. I'm just turning up right so you can see the energy of it. The Wow. You have to, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Five of swords, arguments, conflicts, disagreements, walking away from someone. Um, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Now you have the judgment card that came up in reverse. So I, like I just said, if there was like some type of court hearing or some type of judgment that needed to happen it's not going in somebody's favor but i don't feel like it's the viewer i don't feel like it's yours i feel like if this person was trying to fight you and they were trying to give you a hard time mm -mm, they're not going to be victorious i feel like you are i feel like it's going to go in your favor because the judgment card is a call to judgment about a situation and i feel like with it being in reverse this person was not very fair with what it was that they were doing strong scorpio energy also also, if somebody wants some type of reconciliation, I feel like you are going to be completely done with this. You are turning this reconciliation or this request for reconciliation down. Wow. So far, two major arcanas back to back already. This is a, this is a major cycle. So I'm going to tell you right now, this is a major cycle ending for you guys. And some of you all have decided indefinitely to completely walk away from this situation. Someone has turned their back and walked away. This person may feel like they're victorious. No, they're here. They are not. They are not. And I'm going to say again, I've seen a judgment, um, justice card in the pre-shuffle. Karmic justice is sweeping in, okay? And it's not going to go in their favor. That's This is how I know with the judgment card in reverse. This is talking about the other person. This karmic, whatever they're doing, it is not going in their favor. It's just not. They're not going to keep getting away with the things that they've been doing. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> king of Wands. You had the Queen of Wands before, and now you had a King of Wands. So again, I'm going to say for a lot of you all, this is involving a relationship situation. Someone that you were partnered with for a long period of time or possibly married to. Because for every king, there's a queen, vice versa, same sex, however it applies to your situation. This person is definitely fighting to keep their throne. Okay. I'm going to say also with all those pinnacles in the very beginning, you had the ten of pinnacles in reverse and things like that. This person is upset or they're going to be upset that they're going to have to shell out some type of finances. And if I'm also here, mm, okay, with the judgment card. In reverse, I'm going to hold up right again so you can see it, but it came up in reverse. For some of you all, you may feel like, I don't want to go to court. I feel like it's going to be a waste of time. I feel like if you do go, you're going to win the case is what I'm getting. I'm hearing a message also, okay? So let's part the deck. Yep. Oh, wow. They're both facing in the same direction. A lot of you guys are definitely dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sage, Aries, Summer, Rising, Venus. Also, Wands talks about action, drive, tenacity, vitality, you know, forward movement. And they both are looking towards the future. You have the two of wands. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to say if somebody tries to come back towards you, yeah, you're definitely going to decline it. You're moving on to greener pastures, to brighter days, to a different future. Okay. Because the two of wands is someone choosing a direction to go in. He already has his globe in his hand. Globes talk about like the world traveling distance. And he already has his hand on his wand. Someone has left something behind and they're moving towards something else. Okay. So let's see what we get to clarify the hair font and the judgment card in reverse. Wow, you guys have some powerful energy. Somebody thought that they were, and they're not going to have a victory, okay? Six of Wands in reverse. This person is not going to have a goddamn victory. They feel like they were going to keep getting away with doing the things they've been doing. The judgment card in reverse says, like, here you are. And again, this is Major Arcana, so I'm going to say this. Like, I feel like their luck has run out. This is what I'm hearing. Their luck has run out. 
because they were just, they were doing some things and they were getting away with way too much and i feel like their luck has run out <laughs> their luck has run out and i wasn't even going to show this because i was looking at this hair font again because i'm getting more messages with the hair font yeah because i'm even getting this as um a mediator so like a judge is stepping in and something is going in your favor and also the universe like spirit is stepping in during um tour season and they are coming into rec shop man whoever this person is is like and I, I don't know why i'm hearing this i'm hearing this with this card like let thy will be done i'm i'm hearing that because the universe is stepping in, in in a major way okay so you have the tower card in a major way you have Aries energy, also Scorpio energy, and then you have Cancer Pisces, Scorpio right here with the Five of Cups. I feel like this person just thought they could keep doing the same old thing, keep building on the same faulty foundation, keep building bullshit, a tower of bullshit. They're getting ready to pay the piper right now, okay? They are getting ready to deal with whatever it is that they did. And I kept saying, right, yeah, this confirmation that this is definitely going to happen. For a lot of y'all, this is going to happen during tourist season. You have Roman numeral V right here, five. Look at that. Roman numeral V right here, five. Tour season ends in March. And I'm sorry, in May, five. So, and also five in numerology is a challenging number because it talks about changes that are unexpected. So just like the tower, this is going to come and sweep them clean off their feet and they are not going to be prepared. Just like I said in the beginning, the tower, you don't have control over the tower. This is major kind of also, this person is not expecting this. They're not going to see it coming, but baby, somebody's going to deal with it. And I feel like both parties, you and this person, is going to um, have some residual. Um, it's going to be some hardship associated with it. But this other person is really going to deal with it the most. This this other person is really going to have a difficult time with this, okay? So let's get a clarifier for the hair fine. Again, I'm hearing two more shuffles. And the judgment card in reverse. Oh my God. Yeah, something's coming to the light. You Look at all this major arcana. So you or your person's first, middle, last initial could be B, T, J, C, U, W, or G. Okay. Could be a Pisces individual as this does resonate with Pisces. Um, the high priestess is the gatekeeper of secrets, knowledge, wisdom, hidden knowledge, hidden wisdom, um, secrecy, upright, and reverse. Some secrets is coming to the light. And I feel like somebody is trying to fight an ending. Mm, can't fight it. And I did pick up in your pre-shuffle, this person is very secretive, but something's coming to the light. Bottom of the deck, right now, most definitely this person's secretive, okay? Very secretive. Also, it could be dealing with a Gemini. That's what I'm hearing as well, okay? So let's get a clarifier for your current energy for the hair fine. Ooh, okay. Flipped out quickly. And I just said Gemini. You got the lovers card in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles upright, single woman, single man in reverse. And then you have the Gemini, um, the lover's card in reverse. So I'm going to say again, wow, you have a major arcana, clarifying a major arcana. This definitely has to do with a love situation for a lot of you all. This person didn't want to see you well off, abundant, in your glow. You have all this yellow here. This person didn't want to see you in your glow. They wanted to try to break down your um, self-esteem. That yellow gives me very solar plexus energy. They wanted to see you struggle. Here's the thing. Pay attention to this. Two completely different decks. You see this glow behind his head. And then right behind his angel, you see how you have that sun glowing. This person did not want to see you do well off. Also, I feel like there was a lot of struggle in this situation. Henceforth, the hill or the mountain. Hills and mountains and, and cars talks about challenges and hurdles and things that you need to get over. I feel like the minute that you release this person, you start to have this glow up. Most definitely. Um, again, with this being in reverse and then the next card you have is the judgment card. I feel like somebody's going to come back and try to have some type of reconciliation, but I feel like just like what I heard in the beginning with that suavemente, this person's trying to be a smooth criminal. This person feels as though you are just like the fool card we've seen in the beginning. They feel like you're a fool because you may have a constant back and forth relationship with this person. So they feel as though you're always going to take them back. You're always going to fall for whatever it is they say, just like the magician energy. Mm-mm. You all are saying no. Also, I feel like luck is running out for them, okay? I'm going to say this again. You see how this angel is right here being protective of them? It's in reverse. I feel like their luck has run out. You got two angels in reverse. Both major arcana. You have four. This is a four-card spread, and you have the hair font, major arcana, the judgment card in reverse, major arcana, and the lover's card in reverse, major arcana. Somebody's luck is running out, and I, again, I'm going to say it's not yours. Yeah. You got a queen of swords in reverse. 
Somebody about the judgment, some type of judgment is not going in this person's favor. Again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you got Gemini here right now. Um, I always tell you guys, sort up, yes, sort down, no. Okay. So also there could be a lack of communication. I feel like this person is going to try to reach out to you and you're not going to be communicating with them because you guys know swords talks about the communication and also the mental. That sword is down. So I feel like you're going to be blocking this person. The queen of swords is already cutthroat and very stoic and could be aloof and could be you know, a bit of a sass in reverse. This person is 10 times that, okay? So it's like when this person tries to come in and try to have some type of conversation, mm -mm, you're not having it. Also, if it's a new person coming in, I'm hearing that some type of skeletons can come out of the closet because you see how right here, like these dead, gold, goosely, ghostly looking figures are kind of rising from the dead. Some like secrets are getting ready to be exposed. And I feel like you're going to cut this person off. A lot of y'all, especially if you're dealing with someone new, and especially if this person is a Libra or has strong Libra placements in their chart, specifically Libra sun sign, you may cut this person off because something is coming to the light and you're not feeling it. You're not liking it. Definitely Libra because you have swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Let's get a clarifier for the judgment card for your moving forward energy. Okay. You see how that one didn't want to go in? <laughs> oh, man. And then you have the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Okay, so this is crazy. I'm, this is a major cycle ending for you. I want you all to see these cards. You have nothing but major arcana here. You guys are watching me shuffle. Nothing but major arcana, okay? So here's the thing, and this is why this is funny to me. This person wants a reconciliation because they really do. I feel like somebody really thinks that you are a damn fool, okay? They really think you are the fool. You've had the fool twice, major arcana. Um, This is Aries and also Aquarius energy. Now, also for those of you, I feel like somebody's going to try to come back from your past and you're like, nope, no. That's why you have the judgment card reversed. You're taking a leap of faith into something new and you could be taking a leap of faith into something new with the Aries and, and Aquarius. You had a lot of, um, I'm going to say again, you have to be careful about this air sign. If you, if it's an air sign specifically, Aries, uh, Aquarius. Okay. Cause you just had the queen of swords reversed and that's also Aquarius energy. Be careful about uh, an air sign for some of you guys, especially if it's new. If this is like new, I'm hearing two. If you've been talking to this person for two weeks, two months, be careful about the air sign because I feel like they could think that you're a fool. Also, an Aries as well. I do have to say that. But remember I said fire signs and I said Aquarius and Aquarius is clearly not a fire sign. This is Aquarius and also Aries. So somebody be very careful about uh air sign aquarius gemini sp specifically and then also something could have went down during aquarius season some of you guys could have um taken a leap of faith into a new relationship but you still have an ex who's like knocking down your door or trying to at least i feel like a lot of you guys are deciding to move forward towards something new also as far as judgments and then karmic justice coming in i feel like something is not going in this person's favor is going in your favor and it's allowing you to have a brand new start because you see right here the fool is holding this white flower and white in color um spiritually talks about clear slates newness um a, a fresh start and the flowers already blossom so it's like you're already going towards a fresh start even the sun is white you see that and didn't i say before like with this energy here I feel like somebody was trying to play down on your emotions, your soul plexus. They were trying to like really make you insecure, saying fucked up things to you. But if you look in the background, just like with this that came in reverse, okay, that yellow, some of you all have a brand new start and you are building some type of confidence. Now you are glowing. You're no longer listening to what anybody has to say. You're taking new leaps, new stars, and it's, I feel like it's going to be amazing for you. Holy shit. This is amazing. This is brand new stars for everybody. And this is why I got this to have this urgent message. You literally have nothing but major arcana here. Nothing but major arcana. This is beautiful for you all. So congratulations in advance. And again, I'm going to say, if you guys are waiting for some karmic justice to get, you know, somebody to get delivered, they're going to deliver some karmic justice. And wow, just as I said that their candle just went out. It literally just went out. Oh, yeah, the candle literally just went out. So this is a message definitely for sure that Somebody's time has run out. Whatever antics, and I'm hearing antics, like this person is a player, playboy, playgirl. Antics is done and over with. You're, you're moving on to something new, something different. And most definitely their time has run out for sure. Okay? So thank you so much, Collective, for watching Queen Ebony Tarot. And until next time, continue to like, share, and subscribe, and be well. Bye.